Greetings, candidates, and uh, welcome to the lesson. We are going in our today's lesson to continue the, the topic leadership and strategic change. The subtopic is methods of introducing change. Methods of introducing change. Now, candidates, it, it should be remembered that the degree to which employees are prepared for change is influenced by the degree to which they are convinced that change is necessary. And there is indeed a correlation between the level of change readiness and the successful management of change. In our today's session, we are going to study methods of implementing change or methods of introducing change. The first method is known as chartering. Chartering. Now, the chartering is the process by which the organization defines the objectives of change, it defines the, the scope of change, and also the way uh, people will work with one another on the change program. So under chartering, the change manager should be able to do what we call boundary setting. Boundary setting. Boundary setting. What does that mean? This is just the definition of the scope of the change program. The change manager should also do what we call team design. Team, team design. Mm -hmm. Now, team design is the definition um, of the roles, the responsibilities, the norms, and ground rules for teamwork because change can only be effective if there is teamwork. No single individual can implement change. For change to be uh, successful, there has to be a team working on the implementation of, of uh, the change program. And there has to be definition of the roles, the responsibilities, and uh, including the ground rules under which the team will operate. So this is one way of implementing change, chattering. The second method is known as learning. Learning. Now candidates, how managers develop, how managers test and redefine ideas through experimentation is what we are calling learning. There has to be discovery. There has to be discovery. What do I mean by discovery? This is just the data and information gathering to define goals of the change program and means of, achi uh, of achieving the objectives. So discovery. There is also the element of experimentation. There has to be experiments that are carried out. This includes testing um, and refinement, as well as the means of achieving, uh, achieving the objectives that are set up. Learning. The third method is mobilizing. Mobilizing. Now, mobilizing is the use of symbols, is the use of metaphors, symbols, use of symbols, use of metaphors, use of symbols, use of metaphors, uh, use of stories, uh, the, 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 the 
change manager should come up with stories and what is the purpose of coming up with symbols what's the purpose of developing meta metaphors and uh, and stories the purpose is to engage the hearts as well as the minds of the people who are to help in the implementation of the change program there has to be metaphors there has to be stories there has to be um, symbols that are uh, used at the mobilizing stage storytelling use of stories and me me and, met me and metaphors to to create compelling accounts about the need for change and also to explain specific changes stories there has to be symbolism symbolism or symbolic action which is the use of symbols to reinforce credibility as well as legitimacy of the core team and its message that is the third method the fourth method realignment 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 is a series of activities and and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and and actions that are aimed at reshaping uh, the organizational context including the definition of roles and uh, also reporting relationships as well as new approaches to monitoring uh, measurement and compensation when implementing change is important to have a to have a process of doing what a realignment which is uh, putting in place activities that will help in monitoring redefining the roles uh, how, how having uh, communication uh, channels being um, uh, re, 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 realigned and so on so under realignment you may have um, the, the the change managers may have to do a job descriptions job descriptions or job designs um, which is just an alteration of the underlying structures and processes that support jobs that is job description or de let me just call it job design so realignment can be done through job design it can be done through um, uh, compensation management compensation compensation um, uh, management or even performance management all right performance management um, which is just the invention of a new metrics uh, to measure the effectiveness of the initiative and also the incorporation of the metrics into the employee performance appraisal uh, process that is performance uh, management performance management so these are some of the methods of introducing change they are not the only methods in our today's session we've discussed four chattering learning mobilizing and realignment i will stop at that but before that before uh, we take a break you can have an assignment discuss four methods that change managers can use to implement change thank you for attending our this session uh, god bless you bye bye <laughs>